Oh, and we're back! And we're alive! Oh, this is amazing! We're still here, we still got all our stuff! Yeah, we're still rogue with a with a stone dagger. We gotta upgrade that dagger, by the way. And we still have all our stuff. Oh, it's amazing. Very happy. So it looks like our fortress has uh, has withheld the uh, the camping overnight kind of stuff. Oh, we do need more flax in case we need to make more leather armor. But we have a huge surplus of pretty much everything we need here. Um, oh, we do have some steaks too, don't we? Oh, we got some steaks for le for later. Okay, we can grill that stuff up if we need to. But there's berries everywhere. Uh, although we are getting a little bit hungry. All right, so let's bust on out of here. Um, hopefully there's no one up there to go ahead and uh, smash us. Let's see here. All right, so we're going to go on a little bit of an adventure today. Uh, going to go ahead and check out the King's Land here and see what's going on in the world. Um, let's see here. It seems like uh, there's no real crazy stuff going on, but we'll, we'll be, uh, I'll be the judge of that. All right, so let's go ahead, put this stuff back for now. And, all right, let's get this here like that. Super secure, super good to go, and boom. All right, so we have locked the door, aka door. And, all right, actually, you know what? Let's try to get some iron today, too, maybe. Let's let's try to upgrade our tools uh, and just get some, uh, like, the next tier of things. If we want to upgrade this bench, what do we need? We need four iron ingots. Oh, that's right, and we need to go ahead and smelt the iron uh, in a furnace. And what do we need for a furnace? Uh, we need 250 stone. Oh my gosh! Wow, that's a lot of stone. Um, hmm. Yeah, I don't think we need uh, iron ingots. <laughs> this, this looks pretty all right. And I'm just going around the landscape here, checking out everyone's buildings and dwellings everywhere. It's it's so great being on an RP server because people actually build their houses on roads, even though it may be a terrible idea. And I'm also enjoying our medium uh, tier, I guess, progression here. I think I'm going to stay at this tier for a little while. I'm going to see how long we can survive without gathering iron. Uh, so let's go ahead and get into fletching here. We'll, we'll get some feathers to make some arrows. And uh, there we go. So we should be able to get a ton of arrows out of this. And then we'll be like a bowman. We'll be like a bowman uh, rogue type. And we'll see how good that's going to be. At least I'm thinking we'll be able to raid that, uh, that creepy city. And maybe we'll get some iron or some iron weapons that way. Maybe that could be our progression. We'll see. And it looks like the gate for tomorrow is going to be opening. Uh, a feast for all the land. <laughs> it's so funny. You know what? Let's go ahead and check out the uh, the throne anyway. I've never even been up to this place. Uh, probably put my weapon away. I think we're done gathering feathers for now. Let's see how many we got. I killed like just three chickens. Um, yeah, 135 feathers. I think that's going to be enough for making bows and arrows. I think we'll probably make like stone arrows to start. I know you can make like iron and steel arrows, but uh, but yeah, we'll just do like the most basic stuff in case we get like killed on sight or something. It won't be that big of a loss, and we can have like redundancy of armor back at our base and gear. Uh, so we can just be like have a fun, reckless time once we get ourselves situated. Um, and also, there's going to be a new update with a new engine that's coming uh, for the game. Uh, I think it's Unity 5 or something like that, and there may be higher player caps on the servers too. So it's like more than than 30 or 40 uh, people per server, which would be which which would actually mean more and more chaos <laughs> everywhere. So now is a good time to go ahead and get our practice in in the startup phase because that's, this is really like you know uh, like a 200 hour uh, death match is essentially what this game is at this point. So you want to be, be able to get uh, good starts, fortify yourself, know where to uh, hunt for what. And then, uh, and then let the fun ensue. So, all right, let's go ahead and check out the keep and see uh, what this place is all about. I want to see this gate that everyone keeps talking about. Oh, look at this guy fighting this. Oh, I see he's throwing spears in him. Well, look at that mask he's got. Oh, I see. It's just like face paint. Cool. Good job, man. Okay, so I'm going to head back to our base. I see it's actually lit. It looks like it's lit because I guess our uh, idol or whatever, our, uh, our mark, <laughs> is, is, I guess, yeah, I guess some of that light shining through. So, all right. Unless someone used our fire, maybe that's what it is. But it looks freaking cool. It looks like a, like a, like a spacey, uh, like pyramid kind of. Oh, there you go. So the lights out. All right, so let's go back in here, drop off all our stuff before we check out the King's Keep. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so let's let's sneak on in here. Hopefully we weren't followed. So no one knows our secret to getting in here. <laughs> it's not really a big secret. There we go. Drop some stuff off here, and be all done. We got so much meat now, and so many like like uh, organs and things and fangs. <laughs> I mean, like these cats just keep attacking me. Actually, we should probably make up some of this chicken too while we're at it. Uh, yeah. Oh, look at these bones. We got so much stuff. And throwing a little wood on the fire. Bada boom. Throw the see. Uh, throw the chickens in there, and there we go. I think it's all gonna be cooking up. There you go. Three minutes of that. Thousand calories on on the menu, 
And let's also get our Fletcher going. I think I need uh, some flex for that, too. So let's go in here and just grab some flex while we're at it. Uh, yeah, sure, all of it. What ifs? <laughs> Hopefully we don't die or some nonsense like that. We did get attacked here once before, but I think that was by accident. All right, so we just go to the workbench here, and then we say that we want a Fletcher, a Fletching bench. Now, we'll see the options that come up after we have this. Uh, Fletcher, there we go. Yeah, it's so just flax and wood. Super cheap, super easy to uh, to build and maintain, at least for now, is, is what I'm seeing. I want to I want to go the easiest route possible, like I said. Uh, you know, I don't want to start getting iron and stuff and then having people take it and being like, Oh man, that really stunk. Uh, how's the chicken going? Oh gosh! <laughs> don't get too close to fires. And time to get the Fletcher bench out. I'm kind of excited to see how these arrows work. I think, yeah, you can have all different types of arrows. Uh, let's just put it down. Don't really have much space for uh, these benches around here. This, oh yeah, here's here's a cool spot, right? Oh, that looks all right. That kind of works. Oops. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, sure. Why not? All right, that looks good. All right, so let's see what options we have here for the fletching bench. I'll probably fix this position of this later. Um, just so we know what the plan. Oh, we can get targets, but I think these are uh, yeah for for decoration. Uh, let's see. Oh, here we go. Projectiles, steel-tipped arrows. Yeah, don't have any iron or steel yet, but this is something we might be able to get from the uh, from the town that's next to us, the haunted town. But we could definitely make tons of stone arrows, though. This is very good. And where's the bows? Oh, there's a bow. Uh-oh. There's someone coming. Wait. Or is that like a wolf in the water? Oh, there's a guy right there. Oh, looks like he's drinking out of my pond. Okay, I'll let him drink. And we've got lots of chicken in our hands. Uh, those three chicken breasts or whatever turned into 12 drumsticks. It's awesome. Got tons of food now, ready to go on our adventure. Loving this uh, bow and arrow thing. Let's go ahead and make one up now. Uh, craft one of these up. Pretty darn cheap. So we got this down right here. Very good. I'll put that right there. We'll test it out soon. Also noticed you can do an advanced Fletcher too, where you can make uh, crossbows and like advanced things like that. Totally awesome. Uh, we'll get into that later, but I just want to make the simple stuff for now. Uh, just in case we die, I don't want to lose, like, too much. So this would make a hundred arrows. Wow, so really don't need that many feathers for, um... Wow, this is this is amazing. Yeah, let's make a hundred arrows. <laughs> let's just do it up. Is that really... Oh my gosh, we're gonna have so much shooting going on here. And the bow ninja is ready to strike with a full set of arrows, full quiver of arrows. He leaves his base in the middle of the night to go hunting for the undead monstrous plague creatures in the town just across the street. <laughs> so, here we go. Oh man, I, I totally love this base. This is the way we're gonna do bases from now on. I, I totally like this. There's no one breaking in here. There's nobody, unless they have like, sheer absolute determination. But other than that, it's a perfect ninja base. All right, so let's keep going this way. Let's sprint on ahead. Actually, let's do a practice shot. Let's try to shoot at something around here uh, as, as we tiptoe our way into the dark forest. Actually, no, maybe we should wait for daytime. That might be smarter. Well, th then again, ninjas do operate at night. Okay, so let's just go. <laughs> let's see if we can find one of these guys here. Oh, darn, it's gonna be grainy. Actually, know what? Yeah, I'm gonna wait till daytime so it's not grainy for you guys to watch. And while waiting for morning, it just started pouring down here. I tried to chop some trees to get some work done, but it's just pouring out here. Just, uh, tr trying to get myself well fed, get ready for the morning. It's really cool, though. I love, I love the rain effects and the thunder everywhere. Oh, man, just, just like, just like a rogue ninja. Stuck out in the rain. <laughs> um, all right, so might as well just gather some water, get everything prepped and ready for when uh, when the morning comes. Uh, yeah. All right, and we are back. Uh, it took a little while. I think the server restarted or some kind of lag thing uh, happened. So all right, so I think it's like past morning. I think it's like it's like almost ready to be nighttime again. But we are back. Oh wait, this guy left his door open. What's in here? I'm not gonna loot anything. I'm just curious about people's designs and stuff. And maybe we can make a friend. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's see. Anybody? Hello, anybody home? I just want to say hi, I'm your neighbor, what's up? Okay, I guess no one's home. <laughs> oh, look at this, they got like trees and stuff. They, they should really make this place more secure. Um, or something. I could probably like take that right there, Oh, poor guy. So it looks like someone just busted in the side of his house. Just like literally right over here, they're like, oh, I'm just gonna make it in here, because this is locked, but I guess it doesn't mean a thing. Um, Let's see what else they have here. <laughs> I mean, I'm not gonna take anything. I was just curious. Curiosity. Okay, so let's get out of here. Uh, we'll keep an eye on our neighbor here. Actually, it seems like he already lost all his stuff, but... Um, oh, well, I guess I guess that's that's the benefit of living with other neighbors in the same area. So, like, if one person gets hit, like, like you might not get hit. So, 
That was my, uh, one of the reasons why I wanted to go here. Oh, flax, I'll take that any day. All right, so let's see if we can do some damage to any of these monsters here. We have 100 arrows, right? Yeah, we got 100 arrows, full leather armor complement. How do we get into this place? Oh, there's the front gate right over there. Let's go to the front gate and make sure we, uh, because I get, I get lost here easy when the smoke starts setting in. Uh, Alright, there's the front gate. We're gonna take a little bit of damage walking through this town, but we still have two bandages. That actually reminds me, we do need to get some sheep again from the last time. Uh, because last time we, we lost our wool. But, uh, okay, let's go in here. I'm still not seeing any monsters. Which is weird. Alright, so let's, let's go in here, let's see what this place is all about. As the ninja. <laughs> it's the bone ninja. Can I actually, uh, oh, I can loot these things. Oh, look at that oil! Oh, that's amazing! Is it really that easy? So is there like any uh, monsters here that they're gonna like mess with us or what? Probably. Oh, I see. So all these are like the same resource, I think. Yeah, this 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 whole. Uh, yeah, okay, I got you. Um, oh my goodness, you could loot so many things. Dirt. No, I don't want any dirt. Um, and hay, right? Okay. Well, let's. Oh, it's like, is there anything else around here? Any monsters? We are taking damage. Actually, we're taking a lot of damage here. Um, hmm, that I don't like. Ooh. Well, this place is very cool. Uh, we are finding some resources here and there. Oh, looks like someone might have actually built a little blockade here. Um, actually, I'm not sure if we could build in this city, but I'm not sure if I want to find out because I got to get out of here. I'm, I'm getting hurt. Uh, going in the yellow now. Uh, our health bar is going down. Oh, and there are monsters outside. So it looks like we will have to fight ourselves uh, out of here. Uh, but let's run out of the fog, though, first. Very interesting place. Yeah, there's there's a fiend. Oh, there's a couple fiends out here. Let's try not to attract too many of them. Let's get back out here and see if we can do some ranged damage uh, to these monsters of the town, of the land. Oh, someone built something right there. Maybe to take on these monsters, get like uh, an uphill advantage. All right, let's let's shoot one of these guys and see what we could do. Uh, let's see what kind of arc we have with these things. Oh my gosh, these things are amazing. Oh gosh, these guys are fast too. I forgot. Oh, arrows are awesome. I mean, there's like no drop to them really whatsoever compared to javelins. These are like way easier to shoot. Oh, we already did like 45 damage to this guy. Amazing, 54. Oh, I'm never, I'm never going back to anything else again. This is great. <laughs> we could just kite these guys all day long and look like a bunch of champs doing it. Boom. Oh, that, that is so cool. That's so awesome. And like all we need are just like some feathers and rocks, really. It's like, there we go. Look at that. Now we walk up to him and start bashing him, I guess. Let's see if he gives anything. Right? Oh, I guess he doesn't give anything. What do we get, though? I think sometimes you get, like, cool little things. Oh, I guess nothing that time. Uh, and silly me, I had to loot him by pressing E. I just realized that. So before you guys rage, I have found out you need to press E before you can go ahead and loot him. Let's see if we can actually slow these guys down enough to where we can hit him with our dagger. Uh, it just kind of occurred to me that we could do that. Oh my gosh, these guys are really coming at us. Uh, alright. <laughs> it looks like they're not quite slowing down yet. But we are kiting them along nonetheless. Uh, alright, let's see if we can hit this guy in the face. I'm not sure if, like, head damage does more more damage or not. Uh, but it seems like this guy is slowing down. Alright, let's switch to the dagger. Uh, here we go. Let's see if we can get some hits in here. Oh wow, he hits, uh, pretty decently. Oh wow, yeah, I think I'm gonna stick to the bow for now. <laughs> He's pretty darn aggressive, but we are pretty much uh, getting him down here. He's really not moving at all. And I uh, also found some ducks around here as well. Oh my gosh, how is he not dead yet? <laughs> it's like, these villagers just like don't want to die. There he goes, alright, well we're gonna have a lot to loot here. Maybe let's try tapping this guy with our dagger as well. Um, let's try doing that. Okay, let's, let's uh, maybe get around behind him. Uh, yeah, not quite. Oh, no, no, that's, that's very bad. <laughs> that's very bad stuff. Uh, I guess we'll just keep shooting this guy. Hopefully, yeah, we can loot these guys. Let me just down this guy. We should get decent, decent loot. Come on, sucker, what you got? I got arrows for days. Nice. All right, so now we should be able to loot. There we go. All right. Oh, nothing. <laughs> go figure. Yeah, because I have my mic right in front of my face. So, like, I just don't, sometimes I don't see, like, the loot button, uh, like, pop up down there. And there's nothing here. What the heck? What the heck, man? Alright. Well, anyway, uh, I'm gonna go make some more arrows, and then let's check out the, uh, oh, look, a, a bunny rabbit. And then let's check out the King's Keep, finally, that I've been talking about. Um, but yeah, I killed three ducks, got 161 feathers, pretty amazing. Uh, life is good, so, alright, um, I'll get back to you guys after I'm done crafting some stuff.
Then the mornings come once again, and I think there's a new king. There's like a new king every like uh, every like ten minutes or something like that. It's pretty crazy on this server. But uh, oh, this this bird's still cooking up, huh? All right. Well, I guess we'll let it cook for a little while, and take on off. Let's see here. Is it? Oh, there it goes. It's just just got done. Very nice. Let's uh, turn the fire off, and uh, and see what kind of stuff we can get into. There we go. And we can save the fuel for later. It's it's a wonderful thing. Okay, so let's uh, go back into first person mode. And I guess head to the keep and see what all the commotion's about here on the server. There's there's all types of drama, people crying, people uh, getting all angry, and uh, oh, it looks like this person's house is still looted. Oh, poor neighbor. <laughs> oh well. I guess when they log on, they're gonna be very sad. Oh look, more ducks for feathers. Might bash these guys actually off camera. Yeah, let me uh, let me get some more feathers while we're uh, here. And moving up to the king's castle, I'm starting to see more and more people all around here. As we as we move on up, oh my gosh, our first trebuchet! I never saw that before uh, yet in this game. So I, I think I think that's a trebuchet. Wow, it looks like they're aiming at something. That's gonna be cool when people start shooting those things off, trying to conquer uh, one another's lands. I wonder if I'm allowed up here. Let's see. Let's see if there's anyone. Oh my gosh, that guy's getting towed. Oh crap, do I belong here? <laughs> oh, um. Let's let's go see what this guy's up to. He's he's dragging his friend. Well, I guess they're not friends. Oh man. All right. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna go this way <laughs> and see. Uh, where is this guy dragging him to? What the heck? And is there someone chasing after me? No, I guess not. Wow, this is really cool though. So it looks like they built a fortification on the bridge to like defend the uh, king's keep. Cause it looks like that wasn't there before. Right. It's like player made. I think. Correct me if I'm wrong. But alright, anyway, um, I guess let's go talk to these guys and be like, Hey, is the king in? Or like, you guys need any help? <laughs> I guess. Um, oh wow, they have ballista up there and everything. This is really serious. Alright. Hello? Can anyone hear me? <laughs> Hello, i just like to give my respects to the king. Respects to the king. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I'm fucking stuck. I can do it here. Yeah, you look like you're stuck. What's yeah, going on? Stuck. What's going on? <laughs> I don't know. The admin is coming at the moment. Oh, okay, that's cool. Oh, how about that? <laughs> Put in the throne if you want. My door are open. <laughs> I don't... Oh, I feel your pain, man. I'm sorry. Are you uh are you a king's guard? Uh, oh there you are, you're free now. Oh, oh there cool. You are. You're free now. Oh cool. Yeah, I am the count warlord. I hone the wall to protect the the kingdom. That's awesome. I wanna I wanna join you one day. Once I get all tough and stuff. Get all tough and stuff. Yes? Alright my friend, join me, not the king. Alright. Alright. So it seems like our man here wants us to build a base here and then we can actually serve the king if we want to. So that's uh that's a pretty cool option. Pretty cool option. I'm just gonna keep running this way though. <laughs> As the king changes hands every uh, few minutes. But uh, that's pretty cool that they have like a little thing. Oh, he's following me around. Yo, hey, so so you said that uh, I could just build a base here and uh, help defend the king and that's that's totally legal? Yeah. That's really cool, man. I might take you up on that later. Yeah. The fact is I am controlling the wall between the king and the land. Very nice. You can have access to anyone, anytime. <laughs> oh man, that's great. That's awesome. <laughs> oh, oh, who's that? Hello, hello. You have a you have a stick stuck in your chest. I know. I'm connecting. Tis tis just a flesh wound. <laughs> and as I'm processing a sheep here, it looks like they're dragging more prisoners to the uh, <laughs> to the gallows over there. That guy, that guy with the, uh, the stick in his chest, he's uh, <laughs> it looks like he's the royal guard, the king's guard for uh, whoever the king is at the moment. And uh, oh man, this is this is some funny stuff. I mean, I guess it's just getting started here as people are still building up on the server. But uh, let's take a look. Let's take oh look look at this. Is this a raccoon? No, it's a little black bunny rabbit or a kitty. No, I don't know. Whatever, it's something. You. Hello? Hello? Oh, I'm just, I'm just Hello? watching oh, the, I'm it's a, I'm just watching the... Oh. I was just watching the, uh, execution. I'm sorry, my friend. Oh my gosh, what are you doing? 
Why why are you tying me up? <laughs> no, no, we get why do you guys do this to me? <laughs> are you guys I'm sorry! What 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 uh what guild what uh what guild are you guys so at least I know to stay away next time? We will release you because we love you. Oh thanks guys, you're actually uh you're actually getting recorded right now too on my channel. So like hopefully we can make uh we can have a good fight sometime later on down the line. But I... Yeah I'm sorry. We have it's cool guys, it's totally cool. Yeah, we'll uh we'll have a good time sometime later. We'll uh we'll get a fight going, like in a few days or something, once uh, everyone gets built up. So all in all, that was some pretty wild stuff there today. Uh just running up to the King's Keep. There's all types of drama and role playing going on there. That's pretty funny stuff. Uh I can't believe those guys let me go. I just like talk to them, like, hey guys, at least tell me who you are before you kill me. They're like, oh you can go. That was, that was pretty it's pretty uh surprising. I thought I was a goner, but uh but that's cool. I mean, like, I like the people on the server. Uh, I guess roleplay servers are all kind of cool like this. It's Everyone's just having a good old time. Uh, all right, so we're heading back to base here. Going to camp out for the night uh, till next episode. Hopefully, we're all going to be still together here. Got tons of goodies, uh, like duck feet and fat and... Oh, yeah, we got some wool for bandages. Probably make up some bandages for the next time. And all that kind of stuff. Tell you what, this is fun. I'm excited. I'm excited to get more into the community here and to see what everyone is, is really uh, up to and doing around here and getting into this whole role-playing business because uh, <laughs> these people are funny. Alright, so uh, I will see you guys next time. Uh, let me make sure I do this right. Okay, so seal that off. It usually takes five blocks for my door and bada boom. Alright, we, we are sealed in and ready to go for next time. So alright, see you guys then.